hi hello everyone uh, welcome to this new video in today's video i'm going to share how we can take an export of a sprint backlog using azure devops so you want to take an export in an excel file there could be various reasons for it i mean it could be like some of the members are still awaiting access in the azure devops they want to have a look at uh, the complete sprint backlog for the team or uh, some you know some other members in the organization who wants to reflect on how this particular team is using the sprint practices so let us start so i am sharing the agile scrum project 2023 which i have set up in azure devops labs a uh, kind of a sample project and what i have done is i have clicked on the overview so this is our Agile Scrum project 2023. Now, what we have to do is if I bring my mouse to the boards, we can see different options under the boards. We have work items, we have boards, we have backlogs, sprints, queries, delivery plans, and dependency trackers. So all we have to do is we have to click on the sprints. So this shows us the sprints view in Azure DevOps board. And I, if I simply expand the left navigation, so this is our complete expanded view. So Sprint 2 is in progress. It is started on March 6th. It will end on March 17th. And if I click on this particular view options, I can select the planning. So here I can get more details about this Sprint 2. We have four user stories. We have 15 number of tasks as of today. And we have total effort, which is planned by the team is 15 in story points. So now I can close this planning view. So here you can see we have four user stories and if I simply expand this one using this arrow, it will give me the list of tasks under this story and this can be done for all the user story. So this is what we want. I mean, we want to take the export of this complete sprint backlog. So what we have to do is we have to click on these three dots, which is more commands and create a query. So I will Keep the same name as I list come project 2023 team sprint to backlog. It will be saved under folder my queries. If I click on OK. So now, now the query has been created and it has been saved. So now what we have to do is if I simply bring the left navigation up again, we have a queries just below the sprint. So we have to click on the queries and here click on all. So this is our query that we have created and we saved it. So what we can do is we can make it as a favorite by clicking on this star icon. So we can see, you know, this query will come here. So what will happen is, you know, let me just go back to the sprints view. And if I come to the queries, we need not to search for our favorite queries. It will automatically appear in the favorites. So now what we have to do is we have to open this queries and just expand the view. So just uh, look at different columns which are available. So these are the columns which will be exported along with the results in the Excel file. So let us view this particular list of columns. So we do not want team project name. We do not want text, stack rank, area ID, iteration, area path. Maybe we can get it off created by and activity. So this is kind of a list that I want to export in the Excel. So now I can click on OK. And uh, since I have made some changes in the view of the column using the column options, I can save this query. I can run it again. And now I can see, you know, I'm getting all the information along with my desired list of columns here, right? So what exactly we have to do is again, click on the three dots, more commands and export to the CSV. So the file has been exported. If I click on open file. So now this has opened. You know, all our results or our complete sprint to backlog in an Excel file. Now this can be saved here or if you want to apply any filters here, we can just simply apply the filters and we can see, you know, this particular information in the Excel file. It consists of, you know, four user stories and we have corresponding task and all the columns that we wanted to export. They have been, you know, exported. So that's pretty much in this brief video and uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Thank you.